This is my all-time favorite burrito. This simple veggie burrito, I can eat this all year long. And it was actually inspired from a local new vegan restaurant called Earthy Picks here in Orlando, Florida, and they're really good. I love them. I can eat their stuff all of the time. Okay, so I've got pretty much everything I need here to make this burrito. Now, but before we get going, I just, I want to say that if you're in town, support Earthy Picks. Just go to the restaurant and get the burrito. Uh, I'm only showing you this because I love it, and I think a lot of people would love it as well. Now, I don't have their exact recipes. I don't have even close to their recipes at all. I'm just making a version similar to what I can make at home without knowing exactly what they do and kind of getting close to the flavor. But I will say, having made this before, their version is better. Always support local businesses. Uh, they are ones that I that I really support. So let's get moving. First thing I'm going to make is the aiolis, or I'm just going to be making some vegan mayos. First vegan mayo I am doing is going to be the cilantro aioli that they have. And again, I don't know how they're making it. I'm just guessing. It's gonna be the vegan mayo, a tablespoon, and maybe a little half of lime juice, maybe a little chili powder, cayenne pepper, pinch of salt, and a hefty amount of cilantro. Now you can make this in a blender. I'm just using an immersion blender. I think that's gonna work the best for what I wanna do here. And it's gonna go there real quick. Hopefully not make too much of a mess. If I was making a ton of this, I probably would make it in like a regular, just a, like a blender. Since I'm just making a little bit, enough to make like a few burritos and maybe a bowl, you know, that's why I'm just doing it here this way. Okay, pretty happy about that. I'm just gonna throw a lid on this, toss it in the fridge. That way all those flavors can kind of work together and then let's get moving on our chipotle mayo. So there's a million different ways to make like a chipotle mayo, like a spicy mayo. We're gonna do the same thing. Start off with a half a cup of mayonnaise, about a tablespoon and a half of lime juice. I think that's gonna be perfect for this. Now you can use like chipotle in adobo sauce. Sauce. I'm just gonna use Tabasco Chipotle hot sauce, about a tablespoon of that. Now I really wanna up that smoky flavor, so I'm just gonna use some smoked paprika, a little cayenne pepper, a little garlic powder, onion powder, and then Chipotle chili pepper, this is just smoked chili pepper. I'm gonna do a decent amount of that. Now for this one, you don't really need the immersion blender, but I'm just gonna use it. Now I will say theirs at Earthy Picks is creamier. I didn't put any salt in this, one. So I'm actually gonna add a little bit of salt, just a bit of salt. Same thing, I'm gonna to toss this in the fridge, and after just a little bit in the fridge, this is all gonna taste even better, and it's already good now. Now, they do a black bean quinoa. So I'm gonna do the same thing. This is gonna be pretty easy. So I'm just gonna rinse the quinoa, about a cup of it, in some cold water in a colander. And then I'm gonna add about three quarters cup of veggie broth and a cup of water to a saucepan and bring it to a boil. I'm gonna add the quinoa, salt, cumin, black pepper, bring that back to a boil. I'm gonna cover it up and let it rest for about 15 minutes on a low heat, which is plenty of time for me to tell you about today's sponsor. So I've used cheap disposable razors and razor cartridges my whole life, and I am over it. The nicks, cuts, the blades are expensive, along with dealing like with like subscription services, it's all a hassle. And that's when I found Henson Shaving. Henson Shaving is a family-owned aerospace parts manufacturer. They've made parts for the International Space Station, Mars Rover, and now they are bringing precision engineering to your shaving experience. Razor blades are kind of like diving boards. The longer they are, the more they're gonna wiggle. The more they wiggle and wobble, the more nicks and cuts and irritation you're gonna get. By using aerospace-grade CNC machines, Henson makes metal razors that extend just 0 0.0013 inches, which is less than the thickness of a human hair. Why? That means a secure and stable blade with a vibration, wobble-free shave. Uh, I mean, I love this thing. That was a great shave. And the best part is no plastic, no subscription surfaces, no proprietary blades, and no planned obsolescence. The Henson razor works with standard dual-edge blades to give you that old-school shave with benefits of new-school tech. Once you own a Henson razor, it's only three to five dollars a year to replace the blades. After using it for a few weeks now, I couldn't imagine going back. This thing is awesome. So gang, it's time to say no to subscriptions and yes to a razor that will last you a lifetime. Visit hensonshaving.com slash saustache to pick the razor for you and use code saustache. You'll get two years worth of blades free with your razor. Just make sure to add them to the cart. That's 100 blades free when you head to h-e-n-s-o-n-s-h-a-v-i-n-g.com slash saustache and use code saustache. Henson Shaving, thank you for sponsoring today's video and for providing me with such an incredible shave. I love this thing. Okay, so after the 15 minutes, we're just gonna check the quinoa. I'm gonna add the black beans, return it to the heat, let it cook for about two or three more minutes, and then keep it covered up, take it off the heat, and just let it sit at least for five minutes. We're just gonna let it sit until we need it. 
So now at this point, let's get ready to make our tofu scramble. I'm just gonna be using some extra firm tofu. Now I know a lot of times when people make tofu scrambles, they always like press their tofu, but I like to just, we're just gonna keep it wet, go in by hand, give it a good kind of mix. Now the one thing about their tofu scramble is it's super crumbly and I actually kind of love it. And I'm just gonna add some garlic powder, onion powder, cumin, maybe a bit more. I like cumin a lot and I think it comes out good in this recipe. About the same amount of turmeric, about a teaspoon, tiny bit of smoke, Smoked paprika, a pinch of salt, pepper, a squeeze of lime juice. Now I know I'm using these like bottled limes, don't get mad at me. It's just what I had. I could have been squeezing fresh limes this whole time, but you know what, this works. We'll just give this a mix and then just kind of give it a look, look see to see what we think. Okay, so now at this point, I'm just gonna get a nonstick skillet on the heat, get it nice and hot, just a touch of olive oil, not much, uh, just a little bit. I'm gonna toss this in and let it cook down for a while. I wanna get it nice and dry, maybe brown up just a bit, get it nice and crumbly, you know, really nice and heated through. Okay, and then last up is the kale. So we just washed the kale, and then I'm just gonna pull this kale off of the stem. We don't want this thick stem, probably making way too much kale, but that's okay. All I'm gonna do is just chop this into smaller bits. Now at this point, this is pretty much it. You can, I'm just gonna salt it, and then you, you can massage from here, but I'm gonna add just a touch of olive oil, just a little tiny pinch, and a little squeeze of lemon juice. And then just massage away, kinda get it all worked in there. The olive oil and lemon juice isn't necessary, it's just my little addition. Boom, perfect, perfect. So at this point, pretty much everything's ready to roll. We're gonna heat up our tortilla and start throwing this together. So for me, you can heat them on a pan. I'm actually just gonna toss these in the microwave uh, because I'm gonna actually reheat it in a skillet after it's done. So to put this burrito together, we just need some of our kale and avocado. We're gonna come in with our cilantro aioli or cilantro mayo and drizzled across that. Chipotle mayo. A hefty amount of our quinoa black bean mix. Now this is one of the things that I love in the texture that they do, some crispy fried onions. And I feel like I might've overloaded it, but that's, that's okay. And then we're just gonna add in some of our tofu scramble, which I am just dumping all over the place. That's okay, just like that. So at this point, I'm gonna do my best to wrap this up because I'll tell you, I can see I've already went way, way too large, way too big here. Okay, we got it, semi got it. Now I'm just gonna wrap this into a piece of foil. I wasn't gonna do this step, but since I, I overdid the size here, we're gonna do that. And I'm just gonna toss this into a skillet that is already really hot. And I'm gonna make a bowl for Monica, because Monica's not a big burrito person, but she will have a bowl. Okay, I know you don't like burritos, so I just made you a bowl. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. This is the burrito that I could eat every day for the rest of my life. I think you already know where it comes from. I do. Yeah, here we go. Okay, here I go. Yeah. Burrito bowl. Yeah. Mmm. 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 This is awesome. Really good. Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead, I'll let you. All right, mmm. Well, it's really good, it's really tasty. I love the sauce and the flavor of the sauce and everything together. Yeah. Um, the eggs have like a really nice, like, I mean, I guess it's turmeric, because it's, mm -hmm. yeah, but like, they're really like eggy. There's like cumin in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, they're really flavorful. They're nice and seasoned, yeah. Yeah, the eggs are really seasoned. The quinoa is like, gives everything that good crunch. Mm -hmm. The kale just makes everything taste fresh. Yeah. It's a really good, like healthy, fresh feeling meal. Oh, Delicious. That's like, exactly. Also really like flavored, nicely seasoned. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. You know, this is a burrito that I literally could eat every day. I mean, I absolutely love this burrito. This isn't Earthy Picks. I mean, mm -hmm. I got I got kind of close, I feel like it, but theirs is definitely like, they have a very unique seasoning blend that they use. I don't mm -hmm. know exactly what they're using, um, but their, their stuff tastes really good. But to make something like this at home, I'm really happy about it. All in all, lunch or dinner, like a good healthy lunch or dinner, I'm gonna give it a nine out of a 10. Mm -hmm. I love this. I'm gonna give this like a nine. Yeah. Mm -hmm, for sure. I just got some avocado. I didn't realize there was avocado mm -hmm. in there. That really helps even out the flavor too. Yeah, if you mixed it up, I mean, you would really get like a lot of the flavors together, but. Mm -hmm. This is it, baby, this yeah. is dinner. I know we gotta hurry up and run, but mm -hmm. this is dinner before yoga I'm all tonight. about it. Yeah, boom. Yay. Yeah. Mm. Very good. Mm-hmm. Super good. Mm-hmm.